I'm Steve and I make everything and welcome back to the shop. A little while ago someone came to me and said they'd like a nice uh, kind of quasi 3D map of uh, their local city which is Halifax and I thought hey that would make a great video. So this time we're going to learn how to make maps. So first thing you need to do obviously is get a map and there's a number of tools on the web that can do this. They're all based on Google Maps so you don't really have to worry about which one is the best or the worst. It, it, they're all the same. And when we create our map for laser engraving we really want a couple of images actually. We Well probably three or four depending on how much detail you want. You want the outline of the of the land if it's if it's on a coast and the map I'm choosing here today is is the coast and then you'll want a map for the street level and you may depending on how much detail you want you may want to separate the streets from arter, main arteries or highways and those you might want to do in a different color that's up to you but for this one we'll take the simplest case possible which is really just the water which will be the base plate and the land with the streets on it and then I'll create a little frame on the outside just to kind of finish it off. So that's all we'll do today. So the tool I've chosen here is a, is a tool called Snazzy Maps and you can go online and just grab this thing, it's free. You can certainly register and sign up if you want to do a lot of these. So first thing we want to do is create a style and you'll see a few details uh, on in other videos uh, where they go through a whole lot of, of unnecessary things. So we'll just start from a default style which will look and they always show you a map on the side of this. So we'll start from from the default style and the first thing we want is the land. And again some people will do all kinds of, of tricks to make this happen. Really all you need to do is say click the all at the top and turn off everything basically. Labels and geometry. So you start with what literally is a blank screen and it looks like we're going backwards, but we're not. So next thing we want to do is turn on the land. And for that, we'll go to the, the natural uh, landscape and we'll turn that on and we'll give it a color. And uh, the custom color here will be black. Uh, again, it doesn't look like we've made much progress, but that's because we haven't drawn the water. So for the water, again, we'll turn it on. And uh, voila, you, you see it, but in our case, we want the water to be white. So we have truly a, just a black and white monochrome image here where the black is land and the white is water. And that's all we need for the first image, which is the land piece. And all you have to do now is uh, you, can, you can download this image and you'll come in snazzy maps, you'll come to this screen and you want to make the image as big as you possibly can and we'll scale it by a factor of three. So what we'll get is the biggest image we can possibly make out of snazzy maps. Don't worry about the blue crosshairs here, that's just the uh, GPS location. And once you've done that, you can just download it and, and put it on your computer. Now for the second map, again, we'll do fundamentally the same thing. We've already got the settings here for, this, for, the, uh, for the land and the water. Now what we're going to do is we'll turn on roads and if you scroll down this list and you can see you can individually turn all of these on. Uh, I'll just turn on all roads and for those we'll make them again black because we're trying to get the most abstract thing we can. Now to undo this we want to turn off the natural uh, view that we turned on before. You can hit this reset button and you'll see it and the last thing we need to do is turn off the water. So there you go, there's our roads. And again, we can do a download of this image now. Now we have the, the land and the streets. And you can see you can zoom into these things in great detail depending on how much uh, of this map you wanna show. You can see you know, more or fewer of the streets that are, that are on the map here. Uh, so that's it. We have the two things we care about uh, for this purposes of this demo. The next thing you want to do now that we have those is fire up Inkscape and that's what we'll do now. All right, I got Inkscape fired up here and what we want to do is import one of those images that we created out of snazzy maps and we'll start with the land uh, just because it's easy. And uh, this is actually the, the city Halifax area that I want to 
uh, work with. And you can see it loaded in a fairly big image. Now, all we really want, we don't care about this PNG file really. All we really want to do is trace this bitmap and turn it into a vector. And we can use that path trace bitmap and just leave all the default settings here. We're doing a single scan with brightness cutoff. And we just click this update button and say, okay. And that's it. Now one of the now there will be two images here. One will be the raster and one will be the vector. And the easiest way to find out which is which is to click the 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 vector node mapping and that one is is the vector just because it's got all of those dots in it. So this other one now we can just delete. And now we have that vector and to make this easy we'll make the outline and I'm holding the shift key here and I'm clicking red. We'll make that a cut and I'll just hit a normal click on the X here, and now we have an outline of our of, of all of our uh, background. Anyway, that's that's what do you know? We'll do that with the other one as well. Now I've actually kind of baked this a bit just to make things a bit faster. So what what I did was import those two files, uh, the land and the streets, and I added a. A, a bottom layer called water base, you can call it anything you want. And it's just the outline of the full size. And what I'll do is I'll cut out a piece this size uh, and I will uh, paint it blue so it looks like water. And then we have the land layer, which I showed you in the previous one, and uh, the streets on top of it. And again, we can layer these two things together. You can see how they fit. And uh, the last one is a frame. I just put a frame, just a thin frame around the outside with the title of the city. So that's the four layers and I won't dive into them too deeply here. You will, as a fair warning, you will have to kind of play with things sometimes. So in the case of, of Halifax, there's a couple of bridges. And uh, so what I had to do is basically draw a rectangle on the land layer and then union it with the with both sides just so that there's actually a piece there otherwise it would just get cut out and then this piece of road wouldn't exist so keep an eye for things like that you'll also want to cut out small uh, any small islands i left in the case of halifax i left this big one in the middle because it's kind of an important island historically but all any little islands in the middle of lakes or small lakes, ponds, they all show up here. So you want to get rid of those. Uh, and it's really just a case of, of selecting the nodes and saying, hey, I, I just don't want that lake. And you can just select it and delete it. I left that one in. But. And there you go. So I'll just, uh, I'll just blast out those four layers on, the, uh, on my laser and I'll show you the pieces and then we'll just glue them together and we'll be done. This is a short project. Okay, we have all of our pieces here. We've got our frame, uh, our land, our water, and of course I have this tiny little island, which uh, we need to make sure we don't lose. So as far as gluing this up, it's just pretty much a standard, uh, you know, drop some glue on, and I, I'll use a brush for this. I want it to be reasonably heavy, but not so heavy that it doesn't stick. Uh, or that it's hard to, to glue rather. So we want to make sure we get out into the corners. And I'll just continue on and you can catch up when, uh, when I'm finished here. So there you have it. We got our map uh, cut, engraved, uh, glued together, and it's finished. And I'll post a picture here uh, as we're uh, closing down. Uh, keep in mind, uh, when you're doing the level of detail I did on this map, where I literally have every street in the city drawn, no matter how small it is, uh, it can take a while. So the total uh, engrave time of the actual surface map piece with the streets was roughly two hours. So be prepared for that if you're uh, doing an engraved job because you really don't want to leave your laser alone. So make sure you're around and prepared for that kind of a cut. 
a bit time consuming because you do have to play around a bit, but uh, not a not a big technical challenge. I know a lot of people make big deal out of uh, make a big deal out of maps, but they're really not that hard. So uh, with that, we'll we'll wind down, and uh, as always, I'll put a video over on the side, and we'll see you next time. Go make your world.